today is assembly day. I got our sideboards here, both of these. Laid them up on top of each other. And I had the bottom of the boat right there. So what I'm gonna do is drill holes in the bottom to stitch these two pieces together. And then I'll pry them up on here and then I'll attach, I'll drill holes in all these to match up with the outside here and attach it all together. So let's get started. So if I'm looking at the picture, I, it, it looks like this point here should start right there. That'll be my starting point. I guess that looks right. It's, I mean, obviously this board, the sides, obviously going to be longer than the bottom because it's got a wrap. It's got a long distance to go. So I'm guessing that point there needs to go right there as soon as I figure out how to stand this thing up. All right. Yeah. Show. So right, the sides, yeah. the braces, all that is all zip tied there. And I'm just knocking off the corners here with my friend Dr. John. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I, did, I haven't seen that. So this around. is a GoPro. Look like a couple pieces of board for so long, I just don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I, I like the shape of it, and also I like the depth. Yeah, that's what I want. I definitely want to get some of the high, high um, sides. Yeah. Like you take it in the bay. Sneak it offshore every now and then. Actually, you can't even take this. Yeah. Sure. Because. Wow. So now you start, I have to start pulling this together. So spent most of the day drew out the holes, stitched everything together. Um, here's the transom. It's just, it's just stuck here temporarily. Just let me see everything looks. Um, damn, this is a big boat. 
but I'm having some problems with the uh, with the bow not problems challenges I guess so um, this isn't quite coming up it's kind of lapping over which I think is causing us some issues and try and support it like the show like the guy shows in the book in the magazine or the instructions really isn't working because um, he's kind of vague so um, did, I knocked off the front so you knocked off the edges here you see like those edges off um, so you're trying to use truck straps to help pull it together that's been helping but I think because of this overlap right here we're having some additional issues so at this point what I'm gonna do is uh, we try we put the uh, put the miter saw in there trying to help create depth you know give give us the V but I think at this point I'm gonna need to get some um, some more clamps I can run down to Harbor Freight get some more clamps to help please that because the, these this this gets pulled together first so it'll be you know there'll be a small bow and then these guys will clamp on and they'll they'll clamp on above it so this is the part I got to work on so I need to get some longer longer ties these just aren't these just aren't long enough even strapping it down so anyway at least it looks like a boat Made a lot of progress so one of the things is is, is is in the manual he suggested that you use that you use um, something clamps the outside to hold the bow in hold the sides in didn't really have anything like that so instead we put supports on the inside then once you tie them down and just so you can see this is how I did it. my shine because there's no direction he doesn't say anything at all so this goes to the side so this becomes the chine and you attach it so, um, but that's how it is. Big boat, a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So that's pretty stoked, that's gonna be, this is um, pretty happy, pretty happy so far. Peace out.